attain liberation from samsara, to attain uh, freedom, uh, or atta attain spiritual freedom or enlightenment. So, therefore, the, one of the principal tasks of such a practitioner is to gain victory over the collations, over our negative uh, and afflictive emotions and thoughts. But at the, in at the initial stage, there is no way that the practitioner can directly <coughs> combat with our clashes, with our afflictive emotions and thoughts. So the, so, so the, uh, uh, the sensible way to proceed at the beginning is to find a way of uh, uh, coping with the expression of these negative emotions and thoughts. These are our uh, conducts, the negative actions of body, speech, and mind. So therefore, the first step towards uh, gaining that uh, towards attaining that ultimate aspiration of gaining victory over Kalashas is to guard our body and mind and speech from in sort of engaging in negative actions so that we don't give in to the, uh, to the power and domination uh, of, of, of uh, afflictive emotions and thought. And then once you have achieved that stage, the first stage, and then you can proceed on to the second stage, which is to then tackle the root cause, the root uh, uh, cause, which is uh, the fundamental confusion that we spoke about earlier, is the, the ignorance. And then that is that, you know, when, you, when you, at that stage, then you can directly uh, counteract, uh, you can directly counteract the forces of the kalashas, uh, the uh, afflictive emotions and thoughts. And once you have done that, that, the third stage is not only to simply gain victory over these delusions, but also to root out even the, all the uh, propensities and, and uh, imprints left by these uh, delusory states of mind within our, within our mind, within our psyche. And therefore, Aryadeva uh, states in the 400 verses on Madhyamaka, or Middle Way, that um, uh, a true spiritual aspirant must at the beginning, uh, uh, um, um, uh, must at the beginning uh, um, so uh, overcome uh, negative uh, behavior actions, negative actions of body, speech, and mind. And then uh, uh, in the middle f uh, phase, uh, um, must counter this uh, grasping at self or, or ego. And then uh, finally, in the, in the final stage, then the aspirant should uh, 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 overcome <coughs> all uh, sort of views that, uh, that um, bind us uh, within, within the samsaric realm. That <coughs> uh, that Chinu so when we when Buddhism uh, talks about how uh, both the environment and the sentient beings living in the environment are produced are consequences or are results of uh, um, this fundamental confusion, the ignorance, and the karma, particularly the karma. Uh, we should not have a notion that karma sort of produces these things from out of nowhere. Uh, that is not the case. Uh, 
uh, karma is not like a kind of a, a, an eternal cause. But rather, we must understand that in order for karma to operate, in order for karma to, be, to have the potential to create its consequences, there must be a base, there must be a basis. So, th so therefore, uh, both in terms of the physical world and also uh, our mental world, the continuum is always there. For example, like in the case of the physical world, you can trace the continuum of the physical world to the beginning of a particular universe, and then according to Buddhism, you can trace uh, that beginning even to a stage of empty space where there is an acceptance of uh, sort of uh, what is known as uh, an sort of a, a space particles, although I mean, that's not the sort of uh, the best translation, Namke uh, Dul. There is an acceptance of a stage of empty space during which all the uh, sort of um, uh, um, origins or the or the uh, the source of the material physical universe is in some sense uh, is contained there. Similarly, in the case of um, in the case of the mental world, uh, so far as the continuum of consciousness is concerned, being, being, being. Uh, so far as the continuum of the sentient beings are concerned. Um, uh, this would also includes the, the world of the consciousness as well. So far as the actual continuum is concerned, we cannot say that this is a result and body. of karma. And body also. Um, in the case of body as well, we cannot say this, you know, the, 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 the sort of uh, unending process of the continuity of both matter and mind is not a, not a result of karma. Now the question is, uh, where does karma fit in? You know, at what point does karma, uh, you know, plays a causal role uh, in in uh, producing sentient beings and the, and the environment, the natural environment in which the sentient beings live? Perhaps one could say that um, um, you know, this there is this natural process in the world, and uh, at a point where the evolution has reached a stage where it can affect the experiences of the sentient beings, giving rise to either painful or pleasurable experience, painful or experiences of suffering, or giving rise to pleasurable or joyful experience of suffering. That is the point where karma begins to uh, sort of come into the picture, because karmic process can be made sense only in relation to sentient beings' uh, experiences be it suffering or be it uh, uh, pleasure or joy. Pena, Raja Pena, Kiwam, Kansa, the Jusu, Kansa, Slona, Kansa, Lecture, Slona, Mari. When a number she was at Lecture, Slona, Mari, Sidri. Ta, me, Pumbu, Pumbu, Delatin, me, number she was at Lecture, Slona, Recabo, Kerry Lecture, that was your chip. So, for example, if the question is asked whether consciousness is produced by karma, um, or being, um, whether similarly whether being the sentient beings are produced by karma, it seems the answer should be in the negative, you know, to say no. But if the question is, uh, the hu is the human body a product of karma? Is the human consciousness a product of karma? Then the answer would be yes because human body and human consciousness are consequences of positive actions, virtuous actions. Did we care about that Jane Shady that? Because when we are talking about human body and human consciousness, we are already talking about uh, a sort of a, 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 um, a, um, a state of existence which deals directly with uh, experiences of an individual's pain and pleasure. <laughs> Similarly, if we were asked the question whether this natural aspiration that, we spoke, that I spoke about earlier, this natural instinctual desire to seek happiness and overcome suffering, is that a product of karma? It seems the answer would be no. So today, we do say, the world, the world, the big bang, the world, the world, Big Bang Chigi, the Namjul Kandiji Chata Maja said, the lag draw you never. Jedan Kora, causality do see on the body, lag mar. 